okay, so I know what you're thinking. How is a guy that looks like this going to teach me how to do that? Well, my friends, all I can say is don't judge a book by its cover. Cue the LEA intro music! <laughs> Alright, sorry, I had to get on that hype train while it lasted. Well, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Red Crypto, back with another video for you guys. And you guys have requested the shit out of this video for months. So many times I've looked into the comments of my videos and people are asking me, it's like, Crypt, how do you rap fast? I need to know. I want to know how you do it. So I'm just like, fuck it. But before I get into the beefy part of this video, uh, plug alert, I now have my own merchandise. I'm not going to say the first four letters of those words by themselves because Jake Paul and Logan Paul ruined that shit. But I have my own merchandise, clothing store, apparel, all this other shit that you want to say, and I have my own now. And EGL made it. They're a terrific company. They do a lot of other people's apparel that a lot of people know inside of this community. And if you guys want, the link will be in the description. I'll pop up a couple designs on the screen right now of the shirts and stuff that I have that you guys can go buy. And for this week only, it's going to end on the 22nd. You guys can use code CRYPT20 and it will give you 20% off of anything that you guys buy. You can even buy just a little bitty sticker for like 7 bucks or something like that. You can buy a cinch bag for 10 bucks. Uh, shirts are like 26 maybe, something like that. And like I said, all that's 20% off. So you know you, you guys can get a pretty good deal out of that kind of stuff and make sure you know if you do end up buying any of my stuff tag me i'll follow all you guys i'm so appreciative if you do buy it i honestly don't even know if i'm getting money for this i don't know if i get commission off this or anything like that i don't even care if i do i'm just excited that i have my own clothing out there that other people can wear so if you do buy it take a picture of you wearing that shit take a picture of your order do whatever you can and i'll follow you guys and i'll praise the ever-living shit out of you because that's just amazing so thank you in advance if you do that but now on to the beefy mixed sandwich of this shindig. I'm going to tell you guys my secret tips and tricks on how I rap fast. And this video is not going to be like all those other ones that you see. It's like, well, you got to do this for this amount of minutes. You got to do this little formation with your tongue. I'm not going to do any of that shit, okay? You guys are learning Crip style, okay? You're learning how I know how to do my stuff and how I learned from the very bottom and how to just completely rip shit apart with my tongue in my mouth. It sounded very sexual and it was supposed to be. So while I was driving home today, I started thinking about this video I idea and I wrote down seven things on the notes of my phone because I tend to go on tangents when I do this. I love tangerines. They're my favorite fruit. See, that's what I mean. I just completely get sidetracked. But I have these seven things written down that I'm going to tell you guys and hopefully I can stay on track and talk about these a little bit. And by the end of this video, you guys are going to be rapping faster 100% guaranteed. There's no way you're not going to be rapping faster unless you're already a beast and you can rap as fast as I am then you're just shit out of luck and I'm sorry. But this is for beginners. It says it in the title. This video is for beginners only trying to go from slow rapping or just all this other stuff to faster elevated rapping skills okay so step number one is eat eat a lot a lot of people think there's no good things that come out of being fat but rapping fast happens to be one of those side effects over all the years that i should have been building up muscles in my biceps and my abdomen and other places like that they all went straight to my jawline but in all seriousness eating and even chewing gum and stuff like that extremely strengthens your jaw muscles and obviously you're rapping you're moving your mouth really really fast and that's a huge part of rapping fast is to have strong muscles so you can open your close your mouth pretty fast and pretty fluently so just make sure you eat a lot doesn't matter if it's healthy doesn't matter if you chew on fucking wood just keep your mouth moving up and down again sounded sexual and it was supposed to be secret number two is to drink a lot of warm liquids not cold this step is aimed more towards when you're about to start recording or just a couple minutes beforehand and the reason being is it gets your mouth really really wet and moist and the warmness loosens everything up a little bit if it's cold it tends to tighten it up just a little bit so make sure you drink warm or room temperature liquid and it helps everything kind of get fluid and nice and nice and mushy nice and wet step number three while rapping stand up or sit straight up in your chair to expand your diaphragm your diaphragm is what helps you breathe and what helps you hold your breath and all that other stuff and it's a big part in rapping whenever you hunker over kind of like this it closes down on your diaphragm makes it a little bit harder to breathe makes it harder to push out words but when you stand straight up like that you breathe a lot better you can exert some more words you can just do a lot more with it that's why when they tell you to run kind of put your arms over your head because it expands your diaphragm Diaphragm. Honestly, I've never tried it, but you could probably put your arms over your head while you rap. You might rap a little faster. Who knows? I might try it. The fourth step, and this one's probably the most important to me and the most useful tool that I can give you guys from my own personal experience, is I like to open my mouth extremely wide whenever I'm rapping. Now, I'm not entirely sure behind the science of this, but I have a theory. So whenever you rap with your mouth really wide, you tend to rap with your teeth and your tongue and not use your lips or your cheeks. Your lips and your cheeks, most importantly, have all the weight to them. So whenever you do it like this, your cheeks are kind of spread out and they're staying still. They're not really moving that much so obviously that's less weight that your jaw has to worry about therefore allowing you to be a little bit faster now that's my theory it could be complete and total bullshit but that is my theory behind it that's 
that's the best part about recording these songs by myself is that nobody's there to watch me do it because I look fucking stupid. But just try to remember that rule, practice it out a little bit, you know, use your teeth and your tongue, not your cheeks, because your cheeks got the weight, and that's more weight tacked onto your jaw whenever you're trying to move up and down, so just, it kind of just pinch them up there and just wrap with your mouth wide. Step number five is to take massive, big, deep breaths and exhale very, very slowly and hardly at all. What I mean by this is whenever you say your H words or words that cause you to exhale whenever you say them, try not to exhale that much. I like to call this trick the Donald Trump, and here's why. Donald Trump never pronounces his H's. If you just listen, instead of saying huge, he'll say huge. Whenever you say your H sounds, H is when you exhale the most. So exhale, help. Hello, like you exhale so much and it gets rid of all that oxygen that you have stored up in your lungs You can't say words without oxygen. I don't think you can. Ah, science But a rapper that does this extremely well is Khan. If you ever listen to him The man takes massive deep breaths and you can never hear him breathe And that's not in like studio recordings because you can kind of cut that up and mix it pretty well That's in like his live performances if you ever listen to him Massive breaths, never hear him breathe Step number six, and this is also a little trick that I like to use that I've never really seen anybody else do Is to close your eyes whenever you do it. Now obviously this will work better for like in-home recordings and like recording behind the scenes not live performances but when you close your eyes it's a mind game okay this whole thing is just a big mind game for you whenever you close your eyes you're literally looking at the back of your eyelids you're looking at blankness all just all black and you can focus on what you're trying to say you can focus on the syllables the pronunciation you can just focus but whenever you have your eyes open you're looking around at stuff and your brain is constantly looking at that stuff and thinking about that stuff indirectly even if you're not trying to think about it I like to call this one the car window because I don't know if you guys are like me but I used to do this when I was a kid and I still try to do this I used to look out the window whenever my parents were driving and I would just try to look straight but my eyes would constantly lock onto trees or something else as we were going and I can never stop and then I realized if I just looked at something directly in front of me like a little speck on the window and concentrated on that my eyes completely ignore the stuff moving behind it that's pretty much what this is your environment is the trees the back of your eyelids is the little speck on the window so close your eyes concentrate on your words instead of looking around and getting distracted by everything else and the seventh and final step that I could give you guys is basically what everybody else will tell you is to practice there's a reason everybody says it in their video it's because it works but like I said it's not really a standard tutorial video I'm gonna give you guys the crypt method of practicing not everybody else's tutu fairy bullshit or whatever the hell they're gonna tell you to do this way worked for me flawlessly and it works for me every single time and when I say this has worked for me every single time I've done like over 20 I've around 30 rap challenges and if you you guys don't know what my rap challenges are i pick a fast song and i rap it and most of the time i'll try to speed it up and rap it even faster but i've done this so many times and literally every single time it has worked so what i do and what you will need to do is first listen to the song at least three or four times all the way through and on the third or fourth time start reading the lyrics and try to rap along with the artist as fast as you can even if you fuck up just try to keep going you know just work your way through it and like I said you don't need to listen to it three to four times and on your third and fourth time start rapping with them a little bit then you need to speed it up to 125 percent speed YouTube has this great speed algorithm that they have now you just literally click the settings button on the bottom right and then go up to 1.25 times speed and then you'll do the same thing you listen to it three or four Four times in a row then try to wrap it three or four times and then boom you got it then you go back to the normal speed and it sounds like a fucking turtle then you do the same thing three or four times in a row try to wrap it all three or four times and then you'll stop go back to 1.25 times speed three or four times continue to try to wrap it and you just continuously swap back and forth I tend to like to spend a lot more time on the 125 percent speed obviously because if you can master that or if you can get extremely close to that the normal speed won't be anything at all so just to recap step one be an obese fat ass or just eat a lot it can be healthy it can just be whatever I chose the non-healthy route step two drink warm liquids again this is like right before you wrap you can drink cold liquids all day long if you want to but you know 20 minutes beforehand or within 20 minutes just drink your room temperature water that's basically what I do all the time room temperature water get your mouth nice and salivated and ready to go step number three is to sit straight up keep your back flat or even stand up just so it can expand your diaphragm make you breathe a lot better step number four the most useful one that I could give you guys is to open your mouth extremely wide try to pinch your cheeks up if you can and not use your cheeks hardly any throughout the song step number five the Donald Trump take massive big deep breaths try not to exhale at all and definitely don't pronounce those H's step number six the car window or the mental mind game just close your eyes try to focus on the task at hand and get the job done and last but not least step number seven is to just practice your ass off the crypt way use YouTube's speed accessory down there at the bottom right hand corner of it you know go full speed and go 1.25 times speed even go slower you know sometimes go 0.75 so you can get the lyrics and you know what he's saying or what they are saying and it can help you out a little bit as well all right
right guys hopefully you did enjoy this video if you did like it let me know if you want me to make some more tutorial type videos like this please let me know 500 likes and i will teach you guys how to come up with fast lyrics to make a fast rap song there's a science behind that as well there's only certain words that go together it's just it's really complicated but if you guys want me to do that and teach you how to make a fast rap song 500 likes and i can do that for you guys it's pushing it but i think we can do it if you guys really want it again guys the merchandise link is in the description more designs popping up on the screen right here if you guys want to buy that please 20 percent off code crypt 20 tweeted at me all that other good stuff i'll follow you guys and praise you like you were a god and that's the end of the video guys hopefully you did enjoy it. and until next time it's been your boy red crypt and i'm signing out here goes the demonetization penis Fuck.